serious. He looked here. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Most people would just be really happy to get the money back. You know, well, he wants his pound of flesh, don't he? He wants his day in court. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's going to be in the dog. <laughs> it's going to be me they're going to nail. No, no way. I won't let you take a bullet from me, Steve. If I point the finger at you, I'm fessing up. It won't come to that. Well. No, even if he does go to the police, I mean, they're just going to laugh at him. Forensics? He's been watching too many films. A mate of mine got done right. Because the cops found a piece of chuddy what he'd stuck under a chair. Two years after the broke in. It yours. It wasn't me. Yeah. I'm just saying to you, a bit of fluff, gob, blood, hair, whatever, that's all it takes. So as for writing a flaming note... One word. Not like it was on flipping Rover's headed notepaper. They will know the brand of paper, they'll know the shop where it was bought from, and they'll know the day it was sold. Did you lick the envelope before you sealed it? Probably. Brilliant. It was small fry to begin with. You know, fiddling her timesheets. Sort of thing everybody does. Well, not everybody. And I would never have found out if she hadn't have got greedy. Greedy? I tried to embezzle ten grand. Ten grand? Told a client to leave a cheque for ten grand blank. Filled the name in as the pay. Wow. And I still wouldn't have found out. But... Go on. When my bank card got declined, that's when I started to get suspicious. Started to think the unthinkable. So I sat at this desk for a whole night going through every piece of paperwork in the building with a fine tooth comb. So you got actual evidence of wrongdoing to let these allegations up? She owned up. After I confronted her, made her pay the whole lot back. That's why I was inclined to let the whole thing blow over, but... But what? Well, I, I don't care about the money. She's welcome to it. But I can't trust anybody who works for me now, nobody, not even her son, and that's her fault. Well, I've certainly got enough to go on here. All I need is a name. Eileen Grimshaw. Don't suppose you've got an address? Number 11, Coronation Street. Oh, and she works in the factory opposite Underworld. Not in the accounts department, I hope. <laughs> you know, she's the last person in the world you'd think would do this. OK, well, I'll start by taking a statement and then we'll decide how to proceed, all right? Go back to your machines. Well, I've never heard such a racket. Yeah, well, I have lost something very, very important. Frank Foster's draft contract and he's coming over later. Well, tell me how you look for it. Oh, well, I had my hands on it, didn't I? And then I put it down and then... Oh, there's that many piles I could kill Michelle. Michelle? Yes. Well, leave me in the lurch. Like I've not got enough of my play without answering my own phone, doing my filing and paperwork. Have you thought about getting a replacement PA? <laughs> When do you think I've got time to do that, then? Well, I'm very organised. So am I. And I have an excellent telephone manager. Good afternoon. Underworld, Sean Tully speaking. How may I direct your call? Would you jump in my grave this quick? Well, I'm only saying, if you're going to throw your ass in me... Ah! Ha-ha! <laughs> well, that's great, yeah. I'll bear it in mind. Well, I, and I did shorthand and typing in my g Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. How could you be so stupid? Oh, well, he probably won't go through with it anyway. You know what he's like. You know what the irony is here? I took that money so we could keep Max. And now this is probably going to be the reason why we we'll lose him. It won't come to that. You think social services are going to let him live with a convicted thief? Social services aren't going to get involved. Yes, they will. They will if the police get involved. So come on then, Steve. Come on. You tell me you've got a plan here, right? I'm going to go to work. See if I can talk Lloyd round. What's Lloyd like got to do with this? I, um, told him you nicked the money. You did what? Well, I had to give him a damn good reason why I didn't put the money in the company account. Look, you won't tell anyone. So why are you going to talk him round? Because he's angry. Well, so am I. I have to give him something to pacify him. I'll see you later. So who do I ring? 999, I can't ring 999. Quick, police! Someone's returned my cash! Listen, I can't just drop this. Even if they work out who sent us the money, what then? Well, they'll have a lot of questions to answer, won't they? OK. Supposing it's David Platt. Well, that's a good call. I'm just saying, supposing there's evidence he put the money through the door. Yeah, then he's banged to rights. Returning the money doesn't prove he took it. Exactly. Why would you return something if you didn't take it in the first place? Why? And actually, will the cops go around the houses taking handwriting samples and DNA? Yeah. 
Yeah, if I press the issue, because there is a crime at the heart of this. And there's a million other, more pressing crimes out there for them to solve. Look, I'm just desperate to find out who did this. And I am desperate to get our shop open. All right, so what has that got to do with this? If you ring the police, they'll hang on to the cash. It'll be evidence. Yeah, so? So if you give it straight to Owen, he'll be back on the job today. You, know, you have taken to this, like a duck to water, Eileen. Mm -hmm. This officer wants a where were you? I've um, been uptown and got you a medium latte with an extra shot. I've already had one. And a muffin. Mm. Don't insult my intelligence, Steve. I'm not one of your floozies. No woman could ever hold a candle to you, Lloyd. You are my rock. Look, I screwed up big time. I know that, and I'm sorry. Look, if you want to make it up to me, try cash, not coffee. Not cake, five grand. It was a moment of madness, and I regret it. Good. Anyway, if it's any consolation, all I've managed to do is get myself in more bother with Dev. What, Dev? Who's laughing all the way to the bank? Laughing all the way at the cop shop. Hey. He wants whoever put the envelope through the door found and prosecuted, and that's me. Well, it served you flame and right the both of you. Look, I should have given the money to you. I know that now. But I'm just hoping, given time... Oh, stop grovelling, you creep. Well, what do you want me to do? Beg, cos I'll beg. No, I want you to get out of my face. I mean it, Steve. I'm fuming. Streetcars. Oh, hi, Mrs Haywood. Have you still got the temporary light at the end of your road? <sighs> That'll be 15 minutes, then. Alan, whatever happens, you've got people that care about you. People like me. Please come out. I'm coming. Good girl. Eileen Grimshaw. Yeah. I'm arresting you on suspicion of fraud. You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you do not mention when questioned something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say will be given in evidence. Do you understand? Can I come with her? She really needs somebody to go with her. I'll be fine. Please, Carla. Can I go as well? I need you both here. I need to go with Eileen. <sighs> All right, one of you can go. Me. I'm docking you ages. Okay. Funny how this stuff kind of brightens up your day, isn't it? Who said that? Five points for a quick dance. Owen, will you get your men back to work, please? Han Solo, Star Wars Episode 4. I'd say you were more chew backer than Harrison Ford. Laugh it up, first ball. <laughs> it's classy, though, isn't it? You know that scene in the bar? I could watch that over and over again. Yeah, are we back on track for Monday, Owen? You'll be up and running by the end of the week. That's Eileen. Oh, yes. Yeah, you just walked out. Do you think I'm mad? No, oh, no, I think you're brave. Times are tough. Can't have David Platt lording it over me, can I? No, that's a fair point. And actually, what he said is right. I did think that I'd take over from Audrey one day, so it is hard to swallow. Anyway, you're fantastic at what you do. You walk into another job, just like that. Job? Job? You've never left Audrey's. David and Audrey's. Oh. Funny was excellent. Let's just say I'm looking for something else. You can work for me if you like. I'm serious. I've got a job for you. Well, thank you, but I don't think I fancy stitching knickers. No, it's in the office. I need a BA. Seriously? Well, I wasn't when I first said it, but now I come to think of it. Yeah? Can you tell me why you repeatedly overcharged Mr Armstrong for your labour? Take your time. Can you tell me how and why you came to deposit a cheque for £10,000 into your own bank account? Hey, can I speak with my client alone for a few minutes? But I can't take 
Here they come, Michelle. I've never even worked in an office before. Oh, come on, it's a piece of cake. Basically, I just need someone with a bit of common sense who can answer the phone, help me keep on top of my paperwork. Most of all, someone I can stand being cooped up in that office with more than 30 odd hours a week. It is handy, I suppose. Oh, look, just you think about it. I don't want to ask Sean, or worse still, Julie. <laughs> well, can't you just ring an agency and get a proper secretary in? Oh, yeah, but it's paperwork and interviews, it's hassle. I must admit, I wasn't much looking forward to schlepping around all the salons. You'll take to it like a duck to water, I know you will. Hey, and best of all, I need never go to a meeting with bad air again. Ah, right, so it's just a personal address that you're after, is it? No, I'm joking. I promise I'll never even show you my splittings. What do you think? I don't know, it depends whether you fancy a change of direction, I suppose. Well, at least let me think about it. And I won't take long, I promise. Take as long as you like. As long as the answer is yes, eventually. <laughs> I know you're upset about the looters not being brought to justice, but once we get the shop open, we'll get back to normal. We're still in a mess financially, honey. We'll get through this. I promise. Here, here, here. I hope you're not prioritising their work over mine. Oh, no, no, mate. Plenty of us to go around, I promise you. What's happened to Eileen? What are you on about? What well, do you know? She's been arrested. Yes, you need to look. Who, me? You need to respond to the allegations, Mrs. Grimshaw. Your silence could be seen as an admission of guilt. What does it matter what I say? They've got me banged to rights. If you're not guilty, or if there are any mitigating circumstances. Of course I'm guilty. I'm guilty as hell. She just... Lock me up and throw away the key. So you did overcharge Mr Armstrong? I was desperate. I knew that he was on the fiddle and I just thought, well, if you can't beat him, join him. And are all the allegations true? Look, I knew I'd gone too far with the cheque. That's why I paid it back every single penny. Okay, so you returned the money? I deeply regret the whole sorry affair. I mean... I'm so ashamed. I mean, arrested for fraud in front of your workmates. I'm like, oh. I haven't done anything illegal before this. And that will count in your favour. But, given the evidence and what you've told me, I would advise you to plead guilty. I will. I'm ready to take my punishment. I mean, I feel a bit better getting it off my chest. Well, we get DC Tyler back in. You can answer all his questions, make a full statement. The more you seem to cooperate, the better. Then what happens? Well, that depends on how prepared they are to be lenient. A best case scenario, you could escape with a caution. And the worst case? Will I go to prison? It's a serious offence. She can't bear this anymore. Every time that door goes, I think it's the cops. Look, if they do come... They'll come. You yeah, want well, to be my colour, the feeling. It was my M right in my spit on the envelope. It was my crime. Listen, you just keep your done. Only for Max's sake. Any little thing goes wrong here. I think the whole thing is going to come falling down around us like a great big house of cards. Oh, God, tell her. Maybe we should run away. Oh, we could start a new life like Claire. Excuse me, I'm not becoming a fugitive because I had to pay for you flipping nicking. <clears throat> Paying that money that you nicked. Oh, look, this is insane. I'm going to go and talk to him. No, no, no. And say what? What? It's not like you can steal that money back, is it? Well, I'm just going to talk to him. No, I think you should stay well clear from him now. Well, I've got to try and stop him. No more of your bright ideas, Steve, please. Well, I'll tell you what, just one. Something I should have done straight away. No, 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 it's all good. You'll be well shoved. Oh, there's somebody I need to speak to. Uh, can I go? I'll call you back. Bye. That was another multi-billionaire client, that. It's life in the fast lane here. <sighs> I can't believe I'm stood here. Oh, no. We'd get on like house on fire, no, we would. No, I know. It's just, you know, we are. Uh, <sighs> some bad memories from it. Yeah. 
Oh, well, I understand. But I think I'm ready for a change, you know? A new challenge, so... Yes, if the offer still stands. Oh, Maria, that's great news. When can you start? Julie? Maria's agreed to uh, help us out in the office. Oh. All right. <laughs> what about me? Sean? Well, I can't redeploy my best and second best machinist. Can't have the place will grind to a halt. Which one am I? Julie, you don't need to ask. Darling, and when I promote you, it could be a much grander title than the PA. Right. Well... <laughs> Welcome to Underworld. Thank you. <laughs> What's going on, Sean? Do you see my mum's been arrested? She has, yeah. What for? Fraud. Everything that Mr Armstrong says is true, and I'm deeply sorry for my actions. However, in mitigation, my client would like to point out that she did return the money to Mr Armstrong. She also has no previous convictions. This is a serious offence. Under the circumstances, I would urge you to restrict my client's punishment to a caution. A caution? I'll need to have a word with my gaffer. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Honey, we're in the middle of the road! We're in the middle of the road! Sorry. All right, are you ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ta-da! Oh. That's nice, isn't it? I'm just going to pull the crowds in that. Okay. What do you think, Steve? Uh, it's very nice. Um, listen, you haven't been to the police yet, have you? No, not yet. Why? Because I think it's a bad idea. Really? You know, that is a very nice sign, it's actually. Good, good sign. Good. good. Um, can we go in the house for a little chat? Yeah. Yeah. Do a chat? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on. Audrey! Audrey! I don't want us to fall out. No, me. You've been like a mother to me. Oh, come here. Oh, sweetheart. The trouble is, I'm an actual grandmother to Dave. <sighs> no, I know, and it's fine, honestly. I'm absolutely cool with it. All of this, I mean, since he's qualified, it's gone to his head. I mean, he's just got ahead of himself. I think that's not a bad name for the shot, that, when he takes over. Ahead of himself. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I am the boss, and I want you to stay on as a stylist. Oh, thanks, Audrey. But... I think it's time that I did move on. Oh, give off. Uh, no, I've, I've already found another job. What? You've not been poached, have you? I, if it's that flaming Claudia, I'll have a guts for guards. No, no, it's not Claudia. It's not Claudia. I've decided to go for a complete change in direction. Really? Mm, Carl has offered me a job in the factory. What? Can you sew? Well, no, no, it's just in the office with her, you know, answering the phone and that. Isn't that a bit beneath you, sweetheart? Well, it's a new challenge. I'm quite excited about it, actually. And I'll still come into you as a customer, if only to complain about David. Yes. <laughs> You're a very lucky lady. You're going to let me off with a caution? You understand that as a result of your actions against Owen Armstrong, you are being cautioned for fraud? Yeah. And you understand that you will have a criminal record? which may, under certain circumstances, be accessed. For instance, when you apply for jobs. Are you sure I can't get no, you a drink? No, no, I'm fine, thank you. Now, you know where this mystery cash came from, right? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So you know who the culprit is? Listen, we're friends, you know that. Yeah, you know, one of my best. We go back such a long way, no? So... And you know I would never do anything to hurt <laughs> you or your family or... An... Steve, Steve, why don't you just tell me what you know? It was me. <laughs> it was you, what, you put the money through the door? What? Yeah. OK. No, no, because... Because it was me that took it in the first place. What? What, you, you looted the shop? I don't believe it. It was a terrible thing to do, I know, and I have regretted it ever since. No. No, Steve, come on, no, this is a bad dream. No, I was absolutely desperate, and I mean desperate. The cash was just lying there, and I figured... I figured you could get it back on insurance, you know. And this thought, this calculation, was going through your head as I lay in the rubble, not knowing whether I was going to live or die. You were eyeing up the spoils. I wanted to make it up to you. Listen, the minute I could, I... Listen, and a scumbag junkie, a kid I can understand, but you, a friend? You know, that makes it even worse. Look, if it's any consolation, I am deeply... Deeply ashamed. Finally. 
You've been here the whole time? Yeah, sure. I said to the man behind the desk, I said, I'm not going home without her. What the hell's going on, ma'am? Your mum's been cautioned and she's free to go. Caution? Caution for what? Fraud. Fraud? Well, it was that Turag Owen's fault, but don't worry, because he's the one who's going to have to answer some awkward questions next. What are you on about, ma'am? I'll explain later. I just want to go home and I want a decent cup of tea. Come on. Look, I know you're really disappointed in me. I'm the state of the millennium. And I don't expect you to forgive me any time soon. Not before hell freezes over. But I have looked you in the eye and told you the truth. I have paid you the money back. You think I'd as fast can make a scrap of difference to the way I feel? Being robbed by my best friend? Under duress. Get out. Look, I, I never... said get out! Just one more thing, and I know I've no right to ask, but please, guys, I'm begging you, don't go to the police with this, because I'll go to prison. And you know, after such a moving confession, I'm going to call them straight away. And I know exactly where to send them. The crystal maze. Push that trolley for your mother, she's getting a sweat on. You push the trolley. I'm doing this. Looks like the hold is off to a great start again. Benidorm is next. <laughs>